Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video here at Trains Are Awesome. I'm Tom, this is Lindsay, and today we are in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And you might not believe it, but it is November right now. It's 70 degrees out. So we decided to take a stroll through downtown Grand Rapids, which is one of our favorite places to be. Now, Grand Rapids, including the suburbs, is very spread out, but the downtown area itself is very walkable. Um, however, once it does get cold, or if you don't want to walk, there are some great public transportation solutions in the city, just like that bus that just drove by. There's a free bus in Grand Rapids called the Downtown Area Shuttle, or DASH. Now normally, the buses look like this. And that's a nice pink color, but between the months of August 2020 and January 2021, the city of Grand Rapids has a very cool project on the Dash West route. Self-driving buses. Let's go check them out. So the Dash is operated by the Rapid, which is Grand Rapids bus company, but their stops are actually at different places and look different. Look! the Grand Rapids Autonomous Vehicle Initiative. That's what we're doing today. One party allowed per shuttle. Better hope the shuttle's empty. First time riding. <laughs> okay, um, where are you guys headed to? Here we go. Yeah, so you're you're just like supervising, correct? Um, in a sense. Um, so whenever available, we let the vehicles drive themselves. I'm here for safety purposes, um, also for legal purposes, because by law you can't have like a vehicle without a driver. All right. Um, but pretty much for safety reasons is why I'm here make sure that the riders feel comfortable and um, to make sure that um, the vehicle doesn't get damaged in any way. So before COVID, would, would this operate more as like a bus that would just let people on and off or? Correct. So pre-COVID, um, stop at any stop that had a person waiting there see if they needed a ride and then, um, so we would fill up the back with the four seats back there and then also pre-covid there could be a rider up here next to me as well so what happens if a person suddenly crosses the street in front of a car even though this light is red even if it were green i still wouldn't have to do anything and it would have stopped for that person <laughs> so the the car senses the person and it stopped itself? Yeah, so the car has like sensors all around it, you know, so on the passenger side, like on the side, the driver's side on the side, it has them in the back as well, as well as the ones on the front, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's more on the top of the vehicle. So those sensors are actively moving to search it, so um, another example would be so let's say this car that's coming up on my side here. Yeah. If that car were to like jump over into this lane like super close to me, the car would stop. Like it would just stop to make sure that it doesn't run into that car. Okay. And I wouldn't have to do anything at all. Granted, it wouldn't be a very pleasant stop, but it would stop. <laughs> right. 
So you really are here to just make sure the computer does what it's supposed to do? Yes, essentially. Essentially, yes. And if it doesn't, obviously you have control. Yep. Wow. You have a cool job. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody I, I tell about my job always says that. <laughs> so how often do you, are you in one of these? I'm a part like I'm I'm a part-time worker here because I'm also in college. So hey, I work a few days a week, but um, our shift times vary um, just depending on what your role is for the day. So uh, we have like a, a shift, which is just our regular shift where you work for um, like seven hours, and then we have uh, what we call our break shift which is shorter but what that is is just essentially we have one uh, person who comes in to pretty much um, be like the person to give us our breaks. So, uh, okay. We run four of these shuttles at a time so at any given time there's always, well within our working hours which are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. there's four of these going around. Sometimes they're 55, but usually just four. And how big is the fleet, like in total? Um, that, um, I want to say we have eight vehicles right now. Okay. And you're also in Detroit, correct? Um, yes, we do have a location in Detroit. And then um, there was in Providence, Rhode Island, but um, due, to, due to COVID and um, some other things with, uh, with the city of Providence out there, um, I guess we decided to not open that one back up in Rhode Island. So do you see this having a future in Grand Rapids after the pilot? Um, I think so. Um, like pre-COVID, we would get tons of riders. It'd be pretty non-stop in these shuttles. Um, like how long are we going to be around? I mean, I don't know, but um, we're just continuously working to get our pilot extended. Um, and then possibly maybe get some more routes going. But I think it can stay for sure because we, we, we attract a lot of riders. It's a good way of transit that's um, not so hurtful for the environment and stuff like that. So, because are these vehicles electric? They are. That's awesome. When we saw steam come out of a nearby manhole, our driver explained just how sensitive the bus's sensors are. But if they were coming up more, the car would stop. And then, and then what would you do? Um, it would, if the like if the steam were to clear, it would gradually go over it. But, but um, if it were not, then I would have to actually press the gas pedal so it would go forward. Huh. Usually, what we would do in that situation is we would take over before the steam so it doesn't stop the car so hard and like right. so it's a smoother ride. But... Wow, so they're hypersensitive. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's a good thing. So the big question on any Michigander's mind is, how about snow? <laughs> Great question. Um, so last winter. Um, Last winter went pretty well. Um, although last winter in general was kind of a mild winter, we didn't have like too many like crazy, uh, crazy big snowstorms or anything like that. But um, we put snow tires on these. Um, but when the time comes around, um, and also. Usually don't run them in all the time, um, unless the road is 
it's clear enough to do so. Okay. Because with the snow, um, the sensors that that allow this object to see to see the uh, things around it, uh, the sensors will pick up that snow and won't really go anywhere. So because of that, we will drive them also. Um, just we will drive them again for safety. Just make sure everything goes as planned. But, I mean, if the snow doesn't really stick too good, um, it can still run in autonomy and they'll operate smoothly. Um, but, like, if it's actively snowing, that's another time that we put in let the vehicles drive themselves. Because then the sensors will think the snow is, like, an obstruction? Correct. Okay. After a very comfortable ride, we had finished the Dash West route and we're back where we started. Now normally these buses operate like a bus and you can get on and off where you want, but because of COVID they operated more like a taxi. Our driver offered to show us how he cleans the vehicle in order to comply with COVID safety guidelines. This includes wiping down the surfaces and UV light to kill bacteria. All in all, sanitation takes five minutes. And if there was a like a person there waiting for a ride, I could just tell them like, um, yeah, like unfortunately, um, I'm sanitizing right now, so I can't give you a ride. But if you want to, I can like let it go through its process here and wait for you. And as soon as it's here, um, you can ride. Or if not, there's another one coming around to pick you up. Or you also have the option to take the dash bus. So I mean, that's pretty much how it goes now because of COVID, and then masks are required. Yes. Um, but yeah turn those on and those run for five minutes and the purpose of those are just to sanitize the air and kill any bacteria that could be in the back of the vehicle okay so after we get off like you won't be able to use this vehicle for five minutes correct okay so I was excited about this trip Looking forward to it. What I was not expecting was to have the friendliest, chattiest driver ever who literally explained the whole thing. I know, it was nice. Yeah. Shout out to Miles. <laughs> Favorite bus driver ever. Now we have to end such a beautiful day with ice cream. Um, my experience on the May Mobility Shuttle was incredible. I don't know, did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. I did. It was very smooth and fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, thank you for watching today. Please remember to subscribe to Trains Are Awesome and we'll see you next time.